Walrus are marine mammals. They live both on land and in water. Walruses breathe air and have long tusks. Walruses only have two natural predators, the polar bear and the orca. Learn more about walruses with these amazing walrus facts. The walrus's most distinctive feature is the external tusks. Both male and female walruses have tusks. Walruses use their tusks to haul themselves out of the water and onto the sea ice. Tusks can grow to be a meter long and weigh 5 kilograms in large bulls. Their tusks are also used for keeping breathing holes open in the ice, fighting with other walruses, and for defense against predators. They have a small head with a flat, broad muzzle that bears many short, sturdy, colorless whiskers. Walruses have no external ear flaps, similar to the true seals, but they can bring their hind legs up under their bodies, similar to the fur seals and sea lions, so they can walk on all fours on land. Walruses have extremely thick leather, which is heavily wrinkled and covered with tubercles in males, particularly on the neck. Walruses are cinnamon brown in color. They can appear white after diving or even pink when they are warm, due to them varying the blood supply to the periphery of the body under different circumstances. Males are proportionally more massive in the neck and shoulders than females and are much larger overall. Adult males are 3.5 m long and weigh approximately 2,000 kg, while females are about 2.5 m long and weigh around 1,000 kg. Calves are born weighing about 85 kg and are about 130 cm long. The calves are chocolate brown with darker, almost black, flippers. The two subspecies of walrus are divided geographically. There are approximately 200,000 Pacific walruses and some 30,000 Atlantic walrus. Walruses are extremely social animals. They haul out in tight groups when on land or ice and usually travel at sea in groups as well. There is significant sexual segregation outside the breeding season. Solitary individuals can be seen on occasion on the ice or in the water, these are usually adult males. Walruses have a narrow ecological niche that limits their distribution. Because they feed in shallow, coastal areas walruses usually perform only relatively shallow, short dives. Most dives recorded in Svalbard are shallower than 50 meters, though the maximum dive recorded in the region is over 450 meters and the maximum duration measured to date is 37 minutes. The walrus's main prey is bivalve mollusks that they search for using their sensitive whiskers on or in bottom substrates. They clear soft substrates away from food using their front flippers and then suck the clams from their shells, leaving the shells on the bottom. Thousands of clams can be consumed in a single meal. Some walruses prey on birds and other marine mammals, eating a variety of seal species. The mammal-eating walruses are usually large males and they can be identified by the amber-colored stains on their tusks and chest from the blubber of their prey. Polar bears and killer whales attack walruses, mainly taking calves. However, predators of walruses meet valiant defenses by mothers on land and in the water the whole group will defend against an attack. Females give birth for the first time when they are about 10 years old. Males also reach sexual maturity by this time, but generally do not get the chance to mate until they are about 15. Walruses live to an age of over 40 years. Walruses give birth in May. Just prior to parturition, pregnant females separate from the herd and give birth to their offspring alone on pack ice. New mothers remain on the ice fasting for the first few days postpartum, relying on stored body energy accumulated prior to parturition. Subsequently, females and their young return to the herd and the female recommences foraging. Mother walruses are very protective of their young. A female walrus can get very protective of her calf. She will pick it up with her flippers and hold it to her chest if it's threatened before diving into the water to escape predators. Walruses have young fairly infrequently, so it is vital for them to protect their offspring. The greatest threat to walruses is climate change. Melting sea ice means more Pacific walruses are resting on land, further from their feeding grounds. These ever-growing gatherings can be deadly, especially for young calves. 
And as the Arctic opens up to more shipping, tourism, industry and noise, the Atlantic walruses are at greater threat of disturbance and therefore stampedes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already.